Welcome to our live training session number 23, part three. We're gonna be taking a look at our arc license feature and using the simplified timing in our tuning process. The last video, we were working with the burn rate values for our spark timing tuning. Now we're gonna get rid of that in the simplified timing. It's going to get rid of the burn rate and use normal timing values and degrees before top dead center that we'd find in traditional spark timing maps. It's gonna greatly simplify our tuning process. We're also able to expose what's going on with our spark timing. So we're gonna be having an air temp correction, a coolant temp correction, and an oil temp correction that we're able to modify as well as our knock control. So we're able to uh, go in bias how much spark timing is taken out based on our knock strength and engine RPM. So we're gonna take a look at that in our tuning process as well as our other arc license features such as our launch control or our flat foot shift. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our live training session so we can check this out. Welcome back to our live training session here with our Infinity G35. Now in the last video, we went through our full throttle tuning, we tuned our fuel curve, we tuned our burn rate, spark timing tables, and we experimented with our cam phasing. So we got everything set up, we got everything dialed in, and coming up on the screen right now, the dyno graph from our previous tuning session here. We made about 265 horsepower, and we made about 260 pound-feet of torque. So this was the final tuned dynograph. And uh, we found that we jump into our actual data logger program here, our Megalog viewer, um, taking a look at our, uh, our actual pool, that last pool we did, we found that we had no knock strength showing and reporting here, which means that we had no knock activity. We find that the ignition timing here was showing between 27 to anywhere but 30 degrees ignition timing. So we see we have our timing curve here sorted out. Um, we have our air fuel nailed down. Everything looks good. Now, the problem here is that we were working with our tables in burn rate. And we know we increased our burn rate value a little bit. It increased the spark timing. We decreased the burn rate and it pulled the spark timing out. But there's no exact correlation to burn rate to actual spark timing and it's gonna be definitely an odd concept to work with. So working with the ARC license feature, we're able to use the simplified timing. That's gonna put our tables not in burn rate, but in, in our degrees before top dead center, just like every other uh, uh, engine management we're used to working with, whether it's gonna be an OEM ECU or it's going to be a standalone. So it's gonna be a more familiar concept to most tuners, and that's gonna be a huge benefit. Now the other benefit here is that when we showed we had some knocks, uh, knock strength pickup here in our pools, we saw that it did reduce our spark timing. We have no control over how much spark timing it, it actually reduces, so that's going to be a little bit frustrating. We're not able to uh, go in and work with that with the burn rate tables. Now with the simplified timing, we have direct control over the spark timing it pulls out in relation to the knock strength. So that's gonna be a huge advantage also, we can expose what the ignition timing is going to be doing and taking out based on air temp and coolant temp. So we can expose the ignition timing, and that's really where we make a lot of the power. Um, it's going to greatly simplify.